is up, my wonderful people of YouTube and the internet in general. Now today, I have digressed. I'm not how I was yesterday when I was all... Oh! Oh! Fuck! Fuck! Oh, shit! Oh, man! Oh! <laughs> Woo! That was some good times! Um, today, I just want to discuss on why I specifically chose a uh, Jixxer 750 rather than just getting another Jixxer 600 or just another 600 period. Uh, for me, I, I love 600s. I mean, I, I think I probably could have started on one. Well, actually maybe not. But maybe, maybe I could have started. But the point is 600s are the perfect like around town motorcycle. A quick around town motorcycle. Now, the 600s are not slow by any means at all. Uh, a 600 can smoke just about any car that's on the streets. Uh, just like easily. Like on the other hand, a 750, that's a whole nother ball game. Now, the reason why me specifically, why I got a 750, is because I commute a lot on the freeway, uh, about more than half a week. And so, for those of you who have a 600, when you commute on the freeway, on a 600, you're constantly gonna be in like 8,000 RPMs or something like that. 7,000, 8,000, like around that range. You're constantly, what the fuck is this bus doing? You're constantly gonna be in high RPMs like that. And yeah, that's, it's cool and everything, but at the same time, your bike the whole entire time, the fuck? Your bike the whole entire time is just gonna be like, wah, wah, like the f whole entire time. And I don't know about most of you, but that would, that would annoy the shit out of me. Hearing wah, like every day for like 30 minutes every morning. Uh, I mean, in the beginning, it's like, hell yeah, it just sounds sexy. But after a while, it's just like, fuck, like my ears, my ears, bruh. So, and that's why I, uh, that's what kind of, that was one little, little pet peeve about my 600 that would uh, get on my nerves is the fact uh, how when I was on the freeway, I felt like it was always in high RPMs. Um, but at the same time, that was cool because when I when someone went to race, all I had to do was just fucking downshift, and that shit was like, Wah! it sound fucking sexy. But that's not the point. Uh, you know, so for as for me, someone who had a 600 for what four years, um, I, I I had like I had I, I gave it a good run. I can say I rode that 600 like to death. Literally, almost. <laughs> but I, I rode it. I learned so much from a 600, and I was like, you know what? At the same time, I didn't really want to get a 1000 yet. I still want a 1000 <laughs> R1, but um, I, I'm, I'm okay with a 750. Well, I love a 750 now that I've actually now that I own one. But as for as for 600, back to 600s. As for 600s, it's a perfect perfect motorcycle. It's a perfect sport bike motorcycle. It's a beautiful machine. No complaints at all. Uh, as far as like you know how they run and the power delivery and everything like that no complaints at all it's just me feeling like I was always in high RPMs on the freeway it was just like uh, wasn't doing it for me because I would hear uh, so many of my friends like oh yeah man my 1000 on the freeway I'm just coasting at like low RPMs and I was like oh fuck like I, I wish you know because when I don't, I don't know about anybody else's bike, but when my bike, shit, what the hell? Look at that, that pothole. <laughs> when my bike was constantly in high RPMs, I got a lot of vibration in uh, in my handlebar. So that vibration over like, I don't know, say like 20 minutes maybe, my hand got so freaking numb because of the constant fucking vibration. I don't know if carpal tunnel or what. I don't fucking know, but I mean, just the, the sheer vibration, it, like, for constant, like of the fucking the wind and the engine was like, Wah! that shit was just it was just fucking killing my hand. And now it's 750, I can be going that fast on the freeway, and I can it, it, I won't have any vibration in the handlebar. 
I'll be at a stable amount of RPMs, like, what, like 6,000, I want to say, maybe. Uh, my bike won't be, like, screaming, you know? My bike is already loud enough. So imagine this bike. Imagine this exhaust on a 600. Hell no, I couldn't do it. Oh, man, because I'm constantly going to be like, Wah! So that's, that's just me. That's why I got a 750. And because, you know, I, I feel like I just, I was ready for it. Because I know a lot of people are like, yeah, man, I have my 600 for like two weeks, bro. <laughs> I upgrade to 1,000. Like, f I, fuck, I mean, uh, pff, hell, for me, I always want to, I always take baby steps for everything. Especially if it's something that, like, involves my life. Like, my first bike was a, um, what the fuck was it? It was a GS, Suzuki GS500. And that bike... Beautiful bike, good bike, naked bike, it was cool. And that was a bike I learned on. And you know, I, I learned all my tips and tricks from that bike. And then my next bike was a 600. Which, cause I mean, from a 500, there's nothing else really to get next besides a 600. So I mean, there's not a, like a 550 or something like that. So the next thing was to get a 600. Yeah, learning on a 600 was perfect for me. Well, as far as as far as throttle control and uh, being more responsible with the throttle and shit like that, that was you know that was something good to understand on the 600. But there's no way in hell um, I could have went from a, a 500 just straight to a 750. There's no way because it's too much power and I wouldn't be responsible enough with it. I probably ended up like killing myself or. So that's how I was like, nah, fuck that shit. But back to the 750. 750 is an amazing, 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 amazing intermediate between a 600 and a 1000. It's perfect. There's, there's nothing else. Oh, excuse me. I fucking burped. Ah, oh, bitch, don't do it. Yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. Um. There's nothing else I could have asked for. Like, as, be, as between a 600 and 1000. I mean, there's literally no other bike that's in between. Besides the Suzuki GSXR 750. Oh, yeah. And another reason why I got a 750. Oh, shit. Is because I, um. I was being like a cheap ass. I was like, you know what? I don't want to spend the extra money on buying a, a bigger rear tire because, you know, 1000s obviously have bigger rear tires than a 600. And then, even though, even though the price difference, like I said in the last video, the price difference isn't that big of a deal. It's like a couple, I mean, it's, it's not like hundreds of dollars. It's, it's not that big of a deal, but still. Yeah, so I was like, nah, I don't, I'm not, I'm not ready to, to make that leap yet. And so I was like, you know, I get the 750. And because I hear so many people online and forums and stuff like that, I hear them all praise the 750. They're all like busted nuts all over the 750 forum. And now that I own one, oh, I can't see. Now that I own one, I can see why. It's, it's, it's perfect. It's not perfect, but it's, it is amazing. And I, I, I just love it. I just love it. But if anyone out there is trying to decide between a 600 and a 750, and they've been riding the 600 for, I don't know, I don't know, like a year or so, and they don't, they don't know if they should just get a 750 or if they should stick with 600 or get another 600 or get a 1000, let me be the one to tell you, just go ahead, go ahead and get that beautiful 750. You gonna love it, your girl gonna love it, your body gonna love it, even your boss gonna love it. Who knows, when you fucking get that bike, your boss is gonna be like, you know what, I love that 750 so much, let me give you a motherfucking raise. Who knows? Who knows? So, this is all, oh shit, this is all I have for everyone today. Oh, I'll see everybody. Get the fuck out of the way. I'll see everybody in the next video. This is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't pull up. Can't hold up my hand yet. This is your boy, Throttle Gains. And I'm out.